Shalom, Most High Christ Bless. Officer Asa, IUIC Chicago, we back with another class for our edification. So, remember, last time, what did we talk about? Last class, evading adulterous whores. Adultery part one, the merry men. All right, so now we at part two. What is part two about? So today's class is entitled, Give the Whoremonger No Entry, Adultery Part 2, The Married Woman. Because we can't forget about the sisters. We can't forget about the sisters. We understand what's out there waiting on the married man, so we must understand what is waiting on the married woman. And these classes are to help us. So let's start off with another video. Roll. Love the pillows, always in the bedroom kind of thing. What's wrong with the bedroom? That's unfortunate. Be with another man. You know the sex should be random. Like animals. When it happens, it just happens. In the kitchen. The shower. In the office. On a plane. On the floor. Are you getting turned on? Ew, please, you need to go home. Okay. Now, some of y'all are familiar with that movie. That movie is called The Temptation. Tyler Perry made that film. Why did I start off with that clip? So if you know anything about this film, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. That guy... I believe his name was Harvey. Uh, and then the young lady, I believe her name was Juliet or something like that. I can't remember. But long story short, Juliet worked at an agency. Harvey was one of her clients. He rich, young, got money. What did he do? He sized her up and he started making inappropriate comments to her. Mind you, she's married. Now, what happened? She didn't shut down any of his baits or any of his comments that he made. A lot of times, men, I say, men, we can catch up and pick up on that stuff when the sister is making advances. But sister, some of y'all be simple as hell. Ain't no way in hell she married and he should be even uttering anything like that to her. The minute he made a comment that went left, she should have shut that down. But she was entertaining it. And as you continue to watch the movie, she ends up committing adultery on her husband with this man. Not only does she commit adultery, that man ends up beating the hell out of her, having her do drugs. It's even a scene in the movie where he have her in the club while he kissing on two other women. So he got her involved in, in sodomite behavior. And then the last deadly blow, he gave her AIDS. Then she had to watch her actual husband that she was married to. He had to divorce her. And guess what? He started a whole new family and built a life. And she had to live the rest of her life taking pills and miserable because of that one moment. 1 Peter 5 and 8. The book of 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Brothers and sisters, now last class was about the man. Today's class is about the sisters. Sisters, you cannot be simple. Don't be gullible out here. You say you marry and a man still giving you attention, that's a red flag. Just you saying that you marry should be the door slamming. Bye, get out of my face. That's without you saying that. But if he's still talking, you got to pick up on it. I know we all come from different walks of life, but you got to pick up on it. Because Satan is lurking. That adultery demon is lurking. 
though the temptation was a movie, that could end up being your real life, sis. Read. Be sober. Be vigilant. Uh huh. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. We have to have a clear mind out here because sin is increasing. As I said in the other class, sin is increasing. So we have to increase in the word of God. That's the only way we're going to be able to maneuver through this stuff and stay out of situations like this. Give me Sirach 21 and verse 2. Sirach chapter 21 and verse 2. The book of Sirach chapter 21 and verse 2. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. Read that again. Flee from sin as from the face of a as from the face of a serpent. So God said we are supposed to run away from sin like we seen a king cobra, like we seen a copperhead, like we seen a rattlesnake. All those snakes I just named are venomous snakes, vipers. Meaning what? Some of them, they spit in your eye. Some of them, they bite you. But the spit they spit out, the bite that they inflict on you, injects venom in you and it kills you we are supposed to look at sin like that we're not supposed to look at sin like it, it, it's a good time or i'm missing out on a thrill no you entertain that sin what's gonna happen read for if thou comest too near it it will bite thee that's what happened to the sister in the movie temptation i probably said the wrong name but that's what happened to her she came near it, and it bit her and destroyed her life. That is what will happen to you, sisters, if you're entertaining these men. I know you sitting back right now. Oh, I would never. Yeah, until you get put in that situation. I bet a lot of people said that. Read. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion. Uh-huh. Slaying the souls of men. Doing what? Slaying the souls of men. That's why certain sins, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say certain sins, but when certain people mess with things, they meddle with certain sins and they take hold of them, it slays a part of them. You destroying yourself. The scripture just said that it slays the souls of men. So you meddle with adultery on your job, sisters. Talking about you got a work husband. You're going to end up knee deep in that thing and you're going to destroy your life. Read on. Verse 3. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword. The wounds whereof cannot be healed. So iniquity wounds you. When you sin, you wound yourself. And adultery, that's a demon that lays a big blow on. So you can't be playing out here because this demon is out here lurking to destroy. From there, give me Proverbs chapter 7, verse 7. We're going to start right there. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 7. Then we're going to get an article. Then we're going to get some videos. Because, sisters, y'all got to understand, it's more devastating should you get caught in that. And we're going to go in the scriptures and show why. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 7. And be held among the simple ones. I discern among the youths a young man void of understanding. Now I know the scripture says young man because God deals with the man first. In the movie Temptation, going back to the clip, Harvey spotted a simple woman. I'm going to tell y'all, men is naturally hunters. Men is naturally hunters. We know it's women hunting for the married man, but... It's whoremongering men hunting married women. And they going to do you even worse. They going to treat you like the tissue when they wipe their behind. They going to toss it in the, floor, in, the, in the toilet, flush the toilet, and walk away. They going to do you even worse. But listen to what they just said. Read that one more time. And be held among the simple ones. Be held among the simple ones. I they size you up. Men, meaning what? Men can tell if you're going. I know that's a Chicago term. Men can tell if you're easy. I'm going to say that. Men can tell if you're entertaining them. 
Men can tell, whoremongers can tell sisters if they got a way in. Damn, she laugh at all my jokes. Every time I come, I give her a compliment. Look at her. She blushing every day. He, he, ha, ha. In the whoremonger mind, he's saying, I got her. In the whoremonger mind, he's saying, I'm reeling her in. You got to wake up, sisters. Don't be simple on the job. Read. And be held among the simple ones. I discern among the youths a young man void of understanding. A whoremonger can tell you void of understanding. Because shouldn't no married woman be sitting up there entertaining a whoremonger? Or any man, rather. Why you, why you, you talking to this man for more than five minutes than what you posed to? We got to interact at the job. But you, if you find yourself, sister, you just comfortable, you talking to a man this long of a period, 15, 20-minute conversations all the time, and that ain't your husband, something wrong. You letting the demon in. That's what you're doing. Read. Verse 8. Passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. Uh huh. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot uh -huh. and subtle of heart. Now, this is talking about a man getting beguiled, a man getting tricked. But we talking about the sisters today. Sisters, you will be tricked if you're gullible, if you being simple, if you being stupid. I'm going to use a plain word. You being stupid. You all in his face because he, he dressed nice. He's funny. He tells jokes. He ain't doing nothing but reeling you in. Ain't no such thing as no male friend, sisters. Wake the hell up. He your friend temporarily until he see his opening or his opportunity. Then he going to try to get into your draws. That's all men mindset. But if you gullible, you're going to end up like that, sister. So read on. Now, wait. It said a harlot who is subtle of heart. In this case... Whoremonger, who's slick, read. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Uh-huh. Now is she without. Now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. So whoremongers lie and wait at every corner. You finna allow the same brother, and sometimes sisters know, you know how the brother is. This brother, his verbiage is always where the hoes at. But you finding yourself talking to this man, you find yourself entertaining this man, you're going to be the next one on his list that he say he smashed because you being gullible, you being stupid. Read on. So she caught him and kissed him. And with an impudent face, she said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day I have paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face. Now, remember, this is from the man's standpoint. This woman that caught the man, kissed the man, sweet-talking him. That's what she did. That's what Harvey did to the sister in the clip. He called her. He sweet-talking her. And then, that's just a brief clip. He took her on private flights. He took her to Italy. Man, look. Look, baby, we sipping the finest wine. He whining and dining her, showing her that so-called life. Because sometimes sisters get wrapped up in that because maybe your husband, he don't work the best job. But you think this whoremonger got it made because he make more money. But little do you know, he's sent to destroy you. You better stay there and struggle with that man. Because that man actually loves you. That man actually is trying to be disciplined in this wicked world. And do right by you according to the Bible. But you getting allured. I think that's the word. Allured. You getting attracted by the glitz and the glamour. Oh, he got this. He got that. Because it's always be women. They be very materialistic. Read. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. Diligently to seek thy face. And I Poor mongers will, will tell sisters that, man, I, I've been looking for you all my life. You the most beautiful woman I ever seen. Just blow your head up sky high. And in the back of his mind, he like, man, I'm finna smash her. She don't even know. And then when I get done, I'm gonna give her back to her husband. 
It's some brothers that's wicked like that. We know it's women that's wicked like that, but it's some brothers that's wicked like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, she married, so what? She going. That's how some men is. Sisters, wake up, smell a coffee, read. And I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry. Uh huh. With tapestry. Car- uh-huh. Tapestry. With carved works. Uh huh. With fine linen of Egypt. Uh huh. I have perfumed my bed uh-huh. with myrrh, alloys, and cinnamon. That's all the, the fine things in life. Because just like with that movie I'm referring to with that first clip, he showed her what a simple woman would think. He showed her the world. He took her to different countries. She saw that he, he was, as we say in Chicago, plugged. He, he networked with a lot of people. He knew a lot of people. He had a lot of things. He had a big house. He had multiple cars. He had a different suit every day, fresh, fly as we say. Read. Come, let us take our fill of love into the morning. And you get beguiled, and the man tell you, man, I'm going to do you better than him. You missing out. You don't come with me, you missing out. I'm going to show you the best time in your life. That's what you think that is. That's how he presented it to you. Read. Let us solace ourselves with love. Uh-huh. For the good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. You know what's crazy with that saying right there? It's a lot of songs. It's a lot of songs like it was one couple years back. What your man don't know won't hurt him. Come on, man. Are your husband gone or your man ain't there? Come this way. It's so many wicked, adulterous songs in this earth. And here we go with the Bible actually saying the same thing, because this is what's out here. Read. He have taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. Read. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. Now remember, this is a woman causing a man to yield, but remember what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about the woman. That whoremonger will cause you to yield, sister, if you're being simple. If you're not being aware, if you're not being vigilant, if you're not observing the time when you're at work or when you're around certain people. Read. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. Uh With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter. So, sister, you be simple. You're like a lamb walking into a shed. Not even knowing it's finna get killed. That's what you is. You really getting beguiled and tricked by this man like he really finna show you the world and, and be in your life and he gassing you up saying all these things, but in the end he finna destroy you. You just like that lamb walking to the slaughter. Give me Proverbs. I'm sorry, 2 Timothy 3, verse 6. Give me 2 Timothy 3 and verse 6. So, sisters, wake up. Again, those few verses that we read, yeah, dealing with the man first. But the same thing go for you. You be simple. You let one of these whoremongers reel you in, take you away from your husband who's slave and keep the lights on for you. Actually, protects you he actually be disciplined in this wicked world for you and you run off with a whoremonger shame on you second timothy 3 verse 6 the book of second timothy chapter 3 and verse 6 for of this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women laden with sins how did the brother get her she was a silly woman You don't know when somebody's making an advance towards you. You can't pick up on him trying to reel you in. You don't know how to observe the time. Okay, yeah, you talking to me a little bit too much. We need to keep this short. You supposed to know that. You entertain the nonsense. You entertain the demon. And then what? You get led away captive. You get led away to your destruction. Read it again. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and led, and led captive silly women 
laden with sin. Whoremongers, truthfully, whoremongers, they only able to get dumb women. So you find yourself in that situation. He didn't size you up. He think you stupid. He think you easy. You might have already then said you're taking, but he like, eh, she going anyway. You got to examine yourself. How you, how you moving? Do you give off that vibe like you're available? Do you entertain these men that's not your husband? Because if so, he's lining you up to make you this verse right here, whether you know it or not. Let's go to this article. Let's read this article. And we ain't going to read all those paragraphs under them. We're just going to read those bullet points. Let's read this article real quick. Read that title. Why do women cheat? Here are seven reasons. Wow. Why do women cheat? You notice it's a thousand and one excuses about adultery. There's no excuse for that. Scriptures say that's a sin worthy of death. That's wicked as hell. There's no justification of doing that. But these are seven excuses. They say reasons. These are seven excuses. Let's read them. Read. While everyone has their own reason for cheating, there are common reasons why the majority of people do. In this brief article, we'll discuss why women tend to cheat. This information is backed by self-reported data. By what? self, it said, what kind of data? By self-reported data. By self-reported data. So this is from actual women. Read. One thing I need to note before we move ahead is that many of these reasons are unjustifiable. <laughs> what did you say? One thing I need to note before we move ahead is that many of these reasons are unjustifiable. Many of these reasons are unjustifiable. Meaning what? You can't use these reasons to step out on your husband, sisters. If it's a problem in the marriage, you fix it. Read point one. Point one. Lack of intimacy. Lack of intimacy. Guess what, sisters? It's going to be lack of intimacy sometimes. Your job is to stay in the spirit, and if that is an issue, you fix it. Here's an example. Your husband may be on a blitz spree. That brother, he's a prophet. He may be trying to hit all 30 days, 100 days, whatever day camp that they got going on, you got to stay in the spirit. You can't be getting out the spirit. Oh, no, there's no intimacy. You're not being intimate with me. Stay in the spirit. Wouldn't you, would you rather him be gone doing the Lord's work or gone in the street somewhere you don't know what he's doing? He's gone doing the Lord's work or he's busy working on something pertaining to the truth. You'll get the intimacy. Stay in the spirit. But this is an excuse that some women use for why they cheated. I wasn't, there wasn't enough intimacy. But that's something that's fixable. That's not something that's a deal breaker, like just in everything. You can fix that. Next point. Lack of communication. Again, excuses. This is something that can be fixed. This is something that can be fixed. Because communication is what they say, a two-way street. You can't end a whole marriage, a whole bunch of years you've been building and getting to know one another, you throw it down the drain because of what may be happening with y'all temporarily. 1 Corinthians 7 says it's going to be trouble in the flesh. But because it's some trouble in the flesh, you use that as your segue to commit adultery. That's dumb. That's simple. Let's read the other point. Hypersexuality. Hypersexuality. Okay. Maybe you need sex more than others. That's something that you got to communicate. You can't use that as your segue, your scapegoat. Whatever you need, sister, your husband can do that. You don't got to go outside your husband to get whatever you need. But you got to communicate that again. It say seven reasons. Those are seven BS excuses. Next one. They want to check out of the relationship. Now we getting real now. 
Now we getting real. Some women, they just want to find a way to check out the relationship. Be honest. That's what some women MO is. You want to get out the relationship anyway. So you trying to find an excuse because them first three was things that could be fixed. Now we getting into the nitty gritty now. You must want out. Next one. You've both grown apart. It shouldn't even get to that point because somebody should want to fix the issue. If it gets to this point, then y'all both in the same mind frame. So it's going to fall apart. But it shouldn't get to that point because whatever's going on with y'all can be fixed. Next point. To get revenge. To do what? To get revenge. That's not spoken on a lot. But that's another reason why those things happen. Like, uh, what was that? Somebody played a, cl a clip from Greenleaf where the wife and uh, her husband had cheated on her, I guess, some time ago. And she waited some years later and decided to commit adultery. Why? Revenge. If that's your situation, you got to let it go. If it happened years ago, you supposed to forgave the man and kept it pushing. You can't use that as an excuse to commit adultery, sisters. Last point. Immaturity. What? Immaturity. Some sisters is immature. It's just plain as day. Some sisters is immature. Despite what they say in the world, all oh, the woman, she more mature than the man. That's not always the case. That's what people say, but that's not always the case. Some sisters is immature. You still, you are, you're an adult woman and you still want to be the hot girl. You still ain't snapped out of that. And if you in this truth, that shouldn't even be your mindset. You should be trying to form yourself into what? That Proverbs 31 woman. A Proverbs 31 woman ain't trying to turn up. She ain't trying to YOLO, live it up. She ain't trying to go crazy in the street. If that's your mindset, you still got some more repenting to do. From there, let's drop this article. Give me Sirach chapter 27 and verse 2. The book of Sirach, chapter 27 and verse 2. Read. As a snail sticketh. 27 verse 12, I'm sorry. 27 and verse 12. Uh-huh. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time. So, sisters, that's what you got to do. You at work and men be in your face, you got to observe the time. Hey, cut this conversation short. You shouldn't be in no man's face a long time and it ain't your Lord. It ain't your husband. You should know. You shouldn't even be comfortable. Why, why, why the brother at the, at the job is comfortable sitting next to you and just chatting it up? That shouldn't be going on. If it is going on, you got to look at yourself. No boundaries were set. From there, Sirach 9 and 5. The book of Sirach, chapter 9 and verse 5. Gaze not on a maid that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Give not thy soul unto harlots, that thou lose thine inheritance. Uh -huh. Look not round about thee in the streets of the city, neither wander thou in the solit solitary places thereof. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. So you see all these things here in Sirach chapter 5, is all talking about what a man need to do to avoid harlots. These same things that was listed right here, sisters, is what you need to do to avoid a whoremonger. You a married woman. You shouldn't be in places where there's reveling going on, wild parties, where it's prone to be what? You run into some whoremongers who trying to get your number. You shouldn't be in them type of atmospheres. Verse 9. Verse 9. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Uh -huh. nor sit down with her in thine arms uh -huh. and spend not thy money with her at the wine uh -huh. lest thine heart incline unto her and so through thy desires thou fall into destruction now that's talking about the man but sister that go for you too 
You a married woman. You shouldn't be sitting down with another man. You alone with this man. That shouldn't be going on, sisters. If you find yourself doing it, you on the road to adultery. You on the road to destruction. From there, let's get video two. Let's get video two. I pray these scriptures is hitting home for you. If the thought is in your mind, if the thought is in your mind, you better cast it down because adultery will destroy you in the end. Let's get video two. Play that. Y'all, as I can see, I'm up inside the hotel, right? This is the strap right in Las Vegas. My girl was saying that she was coming out here on a business trip, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to surprise her, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's what I'm trying to do, man. Try to make the relationship stronger. You don't want to surprise her to it. But I got these cups right here, as I can see. These are them Starbucks cups, the famous ones they like, you know, the ones you can hardly get, the study ones. So I came down here and they got the, the Starbucks cup. These are the ones with the ULV. I'll show them to you in a minute. But listen, I'm about to go there to the room that she's supposed to be in. It's supposed to be right here. So we about to go over here right now and see what's going on. Oh, damn, this fucking the door is open. The fuck? The fucking door is open, man. Let me see what's going on. You, baby. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hold on, let me get my um my stuff and then we can go downstairs. What you what you mean? Can oh. we get off real quick? No, hold on. Why you no, nah, what you doing? Nothing. Who was in the shower? I just I was getting out just nah, now. No, hold on, no, nah, fuck this shit. What? Who's, hey, who's, who's, no, who's in the shower? Bro? There's nobody in the shower. No, no, no. Who's, 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 no, I ain't no missing nothing. Hold on, hold on. Who's in the shower? Who's in the shower? Who's in the shower? In the shower? I, you know how I like you to You just turn the shower my, or something? Because I like to steam clean my No, 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 no. Let me see. Let me, no, let me go. What? Hold let me on. Let me stop. 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 She's sitting up here. He hear a man's voice. Maybe something wrong with me. He hears a man's voice in the shower. She talking about some, I got the shower running because, you know, I like the steam. What? Play, play, play. What's going on? Let me see what's going on. What, what is the problem? Let me my way. Let me see. What the? F Your clothes. You in here getting I'm alcohol. Yeah, you you put I'm me on a business trip. I, well, hello, I'm in a room by myself at night. I can't have Who the fuck draws is these, bro? Uh, Stop. No. Stop. Stop. I know the video has what happened on the front of it, but this is what happens in adultery. You're going to end up looking stupid. You're going to get caught. And you see her, she keep trying to make up foolish lies the man hears the man voice in the shower. He see man clothes in there. You lied and told the man that you on a business trip, but you're not on a business trip. You on a business trip getting smashed. That's what you doing. Let's drop that. Give me Proverbs 31 and verse 11. You know the killer part about that. He bought gifts. He was surprising her. She trying to slam the door in the man's face. Talking about some, yeah, just take the, what she say? Just take the gifts downstairs. I'll come downstairs. The man came all the way to where you at with gifts, and you telling him you going to take the gift from him downstairs in the hotel lobby. Adultery. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, and verse 11. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her. Sisters, your husband is supposed to be able to trust you. He's supposed to be able to know, man, when I leave the house, what if your husband go on a quest? He doing something glorious. He finna go on a quest with the leadership. He finna teach in a country he ain't never been in. While he in that country, he's supposed to trust that you not gonna do what we seen on this video. That man trusted that she was going to go on her so-called business trip and come back home to him. But she on the business trip getting smashed.
by the boss. And then he caught her red-handed, and she's still lying in the man's face. Still lying. You caught. But when that demon on you like that, and then it leave, Satan leave you, now you looking stupid. You trying to find all these lies. Running scripts, as we say. But ain't no running script, ain't no lying. You caught. Article 2. Let's read that. Why women cheat? Most women have affairs for very different reasons than men. You see that? It said, most women have affairs for very different reasons than men. BS excuses to commit adultery. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Let me see. Let's read that there are many reasons for infidelity. Let's read that one. There are many reasons for infidelity, such as revenge, boredom, the thrill of sexual novelty, sexual addiction. But experts say that a large majority of the time, motivations differ by gender. When men searching for, with men searching for more sex or attention, and women looking to fill an emotional void. So when women do it, they really be trying to connect with that man. That's why, hey, sister crossed that line. She be gone for real because her mind, her spirit is connected with that dude. Scroll down. Searching for emotional connection. Read that. Searching for an emotional connection. Every affair is different, and so are every woman's reasons for their involvement. Nevertheless... Rudiger's universe, university biological anthropologist Helen Fisher, author of Why Him, Why Her, and Why We Love, says men are more likely to cite sexual motivations for infidelity and are less likely to fall in love with the extramarital partner. If you remember the other class, the whore, the adulterous whore said, yeah, ladies, he's not going to leave you for his family because that's most of the time that's true. The man know the hit he going to take if he do that. But some men do lead a whole family for a whore. But look at the woman. Read. Women, she says, tend to have an emotional connection with their lover and are more likely to have an affair because of loneliness. That sounds so foolish. Sister, how you lonely and you married? You're not lonely. You're entertaining the devil. That's what you're doing. You're entertaining those thoughts of adultery in your head because again whatever you you feel in your mind because it's always some feelings whatever you feel is lacking you're supposed to communicate that to the spouse so y'all can work on that not go get it somewhere else again bs excuse from now let's get video three and get job twenty four fifteen. Get Job 24, 15 while they get in uh, video three. Job 24, 15, read that. Let's read that real quick. The book of Job, chapter 24 and verse 15. The eye also of the adulterer waiteth for the twilight. So men and women who be trying to do that, they wait till nighttime. They wait till it's dark because they want to sneak or they might go to another city. Read. Waited for the twilight saying, no eye shall see me. That's the thing. You say no, no man, no woman's eyes is going to see the adultery. Read. And disguiseth his face. Uh-huh. You change your clothes. You put on a disguise. Read. And the dark they dig through houses, which they had marked for themselves in the daytime. You plan your adultery out. A lot of these adulteries, they are planned out. They don't just happen. You don't just end up with somebody that's not your spouse. These things take time to happen. The demon hop on you. Now it's a thought. You're entertaining it. Then you find a willing participant. Then you got to plan out how you going to do the act. Read. They know not the light. For the morning is to them even as the shadow of death. They hate the morning and the daytime. Why? Because they'll get caught. 
This that sister in that video, she went to a whole nother city with her adultery, but the husband popped up. That's it on that. If one knows them, they are in the terrors of the shadow of death. It said, if one know them, they are in the terrors of the shadow of death. They are in the terrors of the shadow of death. Why? Adultery leads to your death. Play that video. The craziest couples ever. I'm gonna go. What? What are you playing? Hey, don't, don't play with me, dog. What's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again. And this is gonna show some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. But this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess this girl is getting asked the question, what would you do if your boyfriend said, how can you dress? And if he's not okay with you dressing a certain way, she and ends up saying this with her boyfriend. Forward. Let's fast forward. We want to get to that opening scene. I ain't had no time stamp for that one. Thought this one was going to be right at the beginning. Keep going. You want to go towards the end because we want to find that one. That clip right there. See, keep going, keep going. Right there. That's what we want right there. Here we go. Another situation. Same situation. Let's listen to the sister. What she got to say. What they say. Hand caught in the cookie jar. Play. For cheating. And I guess this man is laughing it off completely because I guess he's just super surprised. But not only that, I guess they weren't even able to do it because he caught them right in time. The other guy just ran right into the closet because obviously he wasn't dressed. And I'm like, bro, the entire situation is so messed up. And this man is just laughing about it. So I guess good for him for not really caring too much. Hey, you got me put this on Facebook. Y'all be ready to uh, dance. Hey, oh man. Damn, y'all f***, We didn't even do it. You it. You're a whole f right here. I oh my God, you dad, oh, you didn't even use the f***ing music, y'all. This nigga ever use the This nigga ever use the This nigga ever use the Oh, do you know you Now know. stop. Now, oh, yeah. now, now she want to look ashamed. Now she want to look shocked. Now she want to look all crazy. But before that door opened, you was finna go fulfill your lust of adultery. Now you mad because the light shining on you. That's what will happen to you, sisters. Just straight shame and embarrass yourself. Whatever you need, whatever you desire, your husband. You supposed to get it from your husband. That's Genesis 3. You ain't supposed to be getting it from nobody else. But you let the devil jump on you, you'll end up like this. She talking about, she, the demon on her so strong. She talking about some, we didn't even do nothing. So you think, because you say that, you think a man going to take you back, he just caught you wrapped up in a blanket and dude in the closet. That marriage is done. Over with. Ain't nothing to say. Play the rest. Shouldn't be much left. He's like, oh, Aren't you dog? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, what? What you say? Hey, don't, don't play with me, dog. But that's it for you guys. So much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's Take it. Care. Peace. That's it on that. But see, this is what happens, sisters, when you allow yourself to be led away captive by the whoremonger. That's what happens. From now, let's get Deuteronomy. No, let's get Jeremiah three verse one on that video. Let's get Jeremiah 3, verse 1. Let's get Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 1. Jeremiah 3, verse 1. Because I made a statement. I said, your husband catch you like that. The marriage over. Let's see what the Bible say. The book of Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 1. They say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Read. But thou hast played the harlot. With thou me. did what? Thou hast played the harlot. Thou did what? Thou hast played the harlot. So, for those that don't know, harlot, the biblical term, harlot means whore or hoe, as we say. You play the hoe, 
that man is not taking you back. He, if he take you back, he a simp. It's just that simple. He a simp. But a, a godly man in his right mind, he's not taking you back after that. Remember what we read in Proverbs. The man is supposed to safely trust in you. He shouldn't come home and see you like that. That's betrayal. So if you commit that act, sisters, that marriage is done. Thus saith the Lord. Think about it. You like a delicate flower. Ain't no, everybody ain't supposed to touch this delicate flower. The only person supposed to touch you is your husband. Not some nigga at the job. Not your work husband. Not the whoremonger who saw you grocery shopping. It's supposed to only be your husband. All your desires and needs, you're supposed to get it from him. But if you're trying to seek it somewhere else, you got that adulterous spirit on you. And you will be judged for that. From there, let's get uh, video four. Let's get video four. Happy Yon Day. Um... To everybody that accomplished something this weekend, like I did, I'll tell y'all what it is later, but to everybody else, I don't need to congrats. Let's move it up a few seconds. Now, this wasn't the actual video. This was um, a guy commentating on it, but I'm trying to get through all his talking. Let's see if it moves. Let's see if we can move it. Might not move. So while we waiting on that, I don't know why that's not moving. So while we waiting on that, give me Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 20. The book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. This is what adulterous women do, sisters. They get caught and then they wipe their mouth after the act, after the fact. And they say, what, what did I do? I, I didn't do anything. Like it was a clip. The bishop pulled. The sister was pregnant, but her husband had got a vasectomy. He trying to figure out, how the hell you pregnant? And what she do? She flip it around. You got a vasectomy? And you didn't tell me? She just flipped the whole situation around. But you was just playing the adulterous whore. You was just playing the harlot. And you pregnant. But this is the mind state of harlots. This is the mind state of an adulterous whore. So this class is for the sisters. Sisters, you can't be moving like that. You find yourself moving in that spirit. You got the devil on you. You going to betray your husband's trust for whatever little fantasy or thrill that you got in your head? Foolish. Foolish. Read it again. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. Mm -hmm. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and said, I have done no wickedness. That's what a lot of them women said in them videos, caught red-handed. I didn't even do nothing. The one wrapped, she wrapped up in a blanket about to commit adultery. Talking about I ain't do nothing. The other one, she got a whole nother man in the shower. Got his clothes laid out. Cologne, shampoos, all the smell goods. What you think she was finna do? Playing stupid when the husband comes to the door. Don't let that be you, sisters. Whatever you lacking, tell your husband. And your husband is gonna fulfill that need. He's supposed to fulfill that need. Just like if he lacking in the area, you supposed to fulfill that need. Y'all not supposed to go outside of the union of marriage to go get what you need. That's sin. Sin equal death, equal lake of fire. Video still ain't moved. Let's see if we can get up to that point with that video. Keep going. Keep going. Let me see. Yep, right there. 
Let's see. Another one. Press play. What the f is this? Yo. What the f Yo. is this? Yo. Huh? Who the f is this? What's up? Who the f Yo. is this? What's up? Look at him like, what's up, man? What's up, man? He's so spooked. He's Pause so spooked. It. Pause it. Pause it. Remember what the scripture said in Proverbs. He's supposed to safely trust in you. Damn, so your husband can't leave? He can't go to the store? He can't go to the gas station? What type of woman are you? Let that sink in. Press play. I'm not the type that would go ahead and smoke a fee a, a dude over a female, but I am the type to draw my burner on him just to smoke him. I'm keeping him 100. Even though I know it's her fault, just to teach, bro. I, not even to teach him. I don't care about this fool. Now just stop. To show him he now stop. He's in the world, but even here in his statement, sisters, most brothers gonna go shadow realm if they walk in and they see that. They supposed to trust you. You supposed to only be theirs, and they see you in another man's arms. All the I love yous, all the pictures, all that was BS. That's what you saying when you go behind your husband back and commit that act. Give me wisdom of Solomon 14, 24. What has happened to marriage in our communities? As stated in the other class, we don't value marriage no more as a people. Marriages are frowned upon. Prophet sent me a video. It was a female rapper bragging in her rap, talking about how she took somebody man. Read that for me, soldier. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 24. They kept neither, they kept neither lives nor marriages. Any they did what? They kept neither lives nor marriages. What? any longer undefiled our people do not keep marriages undefiled why you think it's so many old school songs about oh my mind's with you but my heart's on the other way on the other side of town however the damn song go yeah your grandmas and all them dance to that but those are songs about adultery we don't keep those things undefiled no more in our society. When you watch the Arabs, when you watch the Chinese, they have long marriages. They push marriage on their children. But our children, our, our kids, our sons and daughters, what are they, what's pushed on them? Baby mama, baby daddy. Having a baby mama or baby daddy is just like the thing to do in the black and Hispanic community. Where's the marriage? The marriage is being pushed now with this truth. But far as us in this world, this is how things are now. Read that. Read it again. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Read. But either one slew another traitorously uh -huh. or grieved him by adultery. Or did what? Or grieved him by adultery. Sisters, when you commit that act, you grieve a man. A man invests time with you. A man invests trust in you. God forbid he didn't made you the mother of his children. And then because of your feelings and emotions, you use that to justify adultery. Play video five. Play video five. All those things that these women make excuses for why they committed adultery can be fixed. But they don't want to fix them. They used it as they out. They escape go to commit the act. Roll tape. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at the airport, yeah. I got some yeah, something ain't right. I know doing some whole other I know she been doing some whole other I know she been cheating. I told my she told my she going out of town with her sisters. Just that word. What is you talking about you going out of town with your sisters? Yeah, okay. Now Paul. Now this one right here, this one is messed up. Cause you hear him. You hear the brother rehearsing the lies that the woman been telling him. She told him she out of town with her sisters. He said, she say she out of town with her sisters, but her sisters at work. Remember Proverbs 30, 31 sisters, 31, 11. He's supposed to safely 
trust in you. Play. She was here. Excuse me. She was here. Yeah. Come on, you want to talk to your sister? I got you, yeah. Your sister at work. Yeah. She just called me. Yeah. Thought I won't go. No, I know what time you up here, though. I know I, I got your location on. I know you up here somewhere. Is that her? No, that her. This thing is a game, dude. I am not the one to f with. I am not the one to f with. But I don't give a f about none of these police been over here. I don't give a f about none of that. I was straight up. I know this f here. You see over there? I hope they ain't check in, yeah. I hope they ain't go up the stairs, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 that's you. That's you. Who, who, yeah, that don't, that bitch, I don't like your mother. F that don't like your mother. F I don't like your sister. <laughs> hey, Nisha. Oh. Who's this? It's my brother. You, you your pause, it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. You caught, you caught. And she tell this man that that's her brother. Is you serious? Play. Who's boss? Who, who's you boss? Who's you boss? This is my female, this is my woman bro. So what you, so, so what you doing here, Nisha? This is my brother, what you talking about? Stop playing me. I know your fucking brother. Don't fuck. Come here. Let me talk to you. Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you behind him? Hey, watch out, boss. What's wrong with this camera? Bro, bro. Just, first of all, just stay out with the you got going on, bro. Who? Matter of fact, who was you? Cause I'm her man. Where y'all supposed to be going? I thought you was going. I, th I thought you was going to tell him your sister. I am. This ain't your sister. Okay, you know what? You right. It's not my sister. This y'all been talking to for two months. Boss, so who's you, boss? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't do that. Boss, who's you, bro? Watch out, bro. I'm saying what's your name? I ain't gonna do. I'm gonna go, bro. I ain't gonna touch you with nothing in this fucking. Bro, so so this is this is how you gonna do me? Yeah. How long we been together? We've been talking for three months. Yes, we've been talking. Okay, and who you live with? Not you. So this why you me coming home? No, I haven't. You haven't been showing me no attention. Pause it. Pause it. We just read the seven reasons why they do it, and she talking about some because he ain't showing her no attention. So because she wasn't getting no attention for the brief period of time that it probably was, she going to go start a whole adulterous affair for two months and then justify it because of intimacy. So because of that period, you wasn't getting attention. That's the green light. That's the go ahead to go do this. So rock 32, 17. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, and verse 17. Read. A sinful man will not be reproved. She's not going to take no correction for her actions. She's not. He, he asks her questions about what she doing wrong, and she keep trying to flip it on him. Well, <laughs> you wasn't giving me no attention. What? He wasn't giving you no attention, so you commit adultery. You finna get on a plane with another man to go to another city because he wasn't giving you no attention. Read. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Does what? Findeth an excuse according to his will. So the sinful man finds an excuse as to why he did his sin. Her excuse was attention. Now, play uh, the last video. I know we short on time. We super short on time. Play that last video. And then the last scripture we are going to read, going to be real quick, is Deuteronomy 22 and 22. Just hold that. We ain't even got to play this whole one all the way through. That last video. So, I'm going to set the stage. Some of y'all are probably seeing this. This brother, now him, he been peeping that something been going on with her. So, he was trying to wait and see if he was right on his assumptions. Because sometimes, man, you, you have, 
You peep certain things. You pick up on certain behaviors if you're with a person. So this is him finally catching her in the act. Play. Hey, bro, how you doing, man? All right, boss, what's happening? All right, so you 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 with my wife? What's up, boss? That, that's my wife right there. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Deuteronomy 22, 22. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 22. Sisters, y'all got to understand. You let that whoremonger in and you get caught in one of these situations, this could be the judgment for you on top of what? STDs on top of what? That dude end up being the devil on earth and beat the hell out of you. Do you even worse than what you thought your husband was doing you? Notice I say what you thought. He wasn't showing me no attention. He wasn't showing you no attention because what? He was at work. He was doing something important. He'll make the attention up to you. Y'all will have y'all time. But to go commit an act like this, read the scripture. If a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband, then they shall both of them die. What did the Bible say? Then they shall both of them die. Nah. The brother in this clip, he didn't go shadow realm like I said. He just told her at the end, you can watch it on your own. He just told her, I want my kids. I think he said, I want my kids. Just give me my kids and give me my stuff. Y'all have a nice night. And he left. It's videos of, of women who regret that they left their husbands for another man, that they left their husbands for whatever job that they had. They life miserable as hell now, all because they thought the grass was green on the other side. But I wanted to go to some judgment because judgment could have got executed right there. You don't know the rage that'll go through a man's mind when he think that you only his and then he catch you like this. That brother was able to hold it together. Some man is not. Finish that scripture. If a man be found lying with a woman, married to an husband, then they shall both of them die. Uh -huh. Both the man that lie with the woman and the woman. So shalt thou put away evil from Israel. Because what we don't understand, I know it's popular songs like that. God says that is evil amongst us. You listen to the music, all you hear is what? adultery 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 god said that's evil so to put that evil away the adulteress and the adulterer they got to go so if you having trouble in your marriage fix it adultery is not the end the answer adultery is going to destroy you in the end so with that we say shalom i hope this class was edifying i hope it put the fear of the lord on you Let's gird up, let's stay strong, because these demons are lurking. Shalom. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation